now with the private sector's involvement, testing can actually take place at a good level. And secondly, what do you make of the Sunday move for quarantining uh, announced by the Prime Minister? So, private sector being involved and more testing being done is good because I have always suspected from day one that the numbers which are being declared and announced are just the tip of the iceberg and I have said it two days back also on your show that the real numbers are many, many, many times more and there is infection which is simmering in the community and it's there waiting to explode any day. And I must share with you that I just read half an hour back that today about 30 people have tested positive in NIV Pune. Now this is something I read on the internet. I do not know whether it is correct or not. But if it's correct, it's a very, very serious matter. I have also read about somebody in Ames, Bhopal who is a positive case having come in contact with a large number of doctors about which the resident doctors association have complained. Now, Vishnu, these are clear cut indicators of what is happening at the community level. If anyone today says that this is still in stage two, we have not yet hit stage three. I think he is just closing his eyes to the reality which is glaring at us. The reality is that there is, I think we've already moved from 2 to stage 3 and it's just a matter of few days before this bomb explodes in front of our eyes. Doctor, when you say when this bomb explodes in front of our eyes, what is it that we will see? Will we see a sharp spike in cases or will we see a sharp spike in death rates? Uh, Vishnu, if you track the numbers that are increasing for the last 10 days, first we had few cases, no death, then we had 5 to 6 per day increase in the number of cases, and then we had little more increase in the number of cases, and if you look at the number of cases added in that last 24 hours, it's the largest number added in the last two weeks. Yesterday, the number was around 156 or 160. I'm talking of the reported cases and today we are touching 250. So roughly 70, 80 declared cases added in the last 24 hours, which is the largest increase. So not only are the numbers increasing, but the increase in the numbers of numbers is also increasing. And this just is reflective of a large volume of cases which are there out there in the society. And I guess by Wednesday or Thursday or latest by the next weekend, this bomb will explode in front of us. And when it happens, when you have a large number of people falling sick, as has been said. Now look at that graphic. Yep. The largest increase in the number of cases has been today. This yes. could be more tomorrow. This could be still more day after tomorrow. And I don't think we need artificial intelligence to figure out where this, uh, this graph will ultimately lead to. So we are just a few days away from a very, very serious maybe Spain or Italy or China-like situation. And when we have a large number of cases infected, of course, majority of them will be mild, but given our population density, given that a large number of people in our country suffer from undernutrition, various lung ailments, diabetes is so common in our country, heart disease is so common, and the kind of health resources, health infrastructure we have at the periphery. I don't think, again, we need artificial intelligence to be able to figure out that these large number of cases will also convert into a large number of deaths, which is now not too far away for us to be seeing. The writing is there on the wall. If we still want to close our eyes, the choice is ours. Dr. Kumar, have you conveyed your very strong views, which is something which a lot of people have said, to the health ministry, to the health minister, uh, to, to, to those monitoring our situation? What do they say? 
Uh, Vishnu, I spoke exactly the same words on your show day before yesterday night. I have been conveying this to every channel who is coming to me. Please, overreaction is better than underreaction. If we overreact today and prevent an Italy like situation, it is better than underreacting today and overreacting when it is already too late. In a situation like this, overreaction is the only correct reaction. Okay. So, therefore, uh, this trial lockdown, if I can use those words, which the Prime Minister announced on Sunday, because he also said that this will prepare us for future challenges. Do you believe that that is too little, that we should be in yeah. lockdown right now? Uh, Vishnu, I appreciate Honorable Prime Minister for the way he conveyed these things to the country, but I think a lot of changes have happened between yesterday evening and today evening. The way the number of cases have started increasing, see the delta between the previous 24 hours and the last 24 hours, there is a sharp rise. This is reflective of the the, the explosion which is about to come. So I agree that this Janta curfew is a wonderful step, but I think this Janta curfew should be started by Janta from tonight, not from Sunday morning. One, and it should be at least for the next two weeks, leaving aside bare minimum essential services like health services or, you know, one, two, three, four, five essential services which are mandatory for letting the country run, there should be 100% lockdown. And I'll tell you why. If you look at the transmission, it spreads by direct droplet to droplet transmission. Now, I went to one of the big uh, government complexes, CGO complex today. The entire CGO complex was working. Now, there are thousands of employees who come. They start from their houses. They travel through the city. Imagine a few percentage of them are positive. On the way, they have infected so many other people and they have contracted infection from so many people. Total distancing of people, confinement within our houses, and breaking this direct person-to-person -person droplet transmission is the only way. The second way, whatever transmission happens through the hand, hand hygiene is the method. Okay. So stop droplet-to-droplet -droplet direct transmission and also hand transmission. So complete lockdown is the crying need of the hour. All right, Doctor, thank you so much for sharing those perspectives with us. I want to go across to Ranu Bhogal at this stage. Ranu, it's